Let's do some core exercises. You've heard me many times talking about the importance of a core. So I'm going to give you three exercises that you can do sitting in your chair. The first one is diaphragmatic breathing or belly breaths. So what you want to do is just relax into the chair and put your hand on your tummy. And we're going to breathe a bit differently here. We're going to breathe in through our nose, blowing the tummy out and we're going to breathe out through our mouth, squeezing the tummy in. So just put your hand on your tummy so you can see it working. Let's breathe in through the nose. And then out through the mouth, squeezing the tummy in. Good. So breathe in through your nose, blowing the tummy out. And then out through your mouth, squeezing the tummy in. And just keep doing that, and let's keep doing that for a minute. Now the advantage to this is it's so good for reducing stress levels. It reduces the stress hormone in your body and it also relaxes the body. So if sometimes you can't sleep, this is a perfect one to try and it's a nice gentle introduction into your core muscles. So we're 30 seconds in. Let's do this for another 30 seconds. In through the nose, blowing the tummy out and then out through the mouth, squeezing the tummy in. Let's keep doing it. Let's do a few more, two more, one more time, great, that's the belly breathing. Now we're going to move on to pelvic floors and these are great, so your pelvic floor is one of your core muscles and again it's a nice safe introductory exercise. And the advantage of doing this, as well as strengthening your core, and by strengthening your core, you'll help your body in so many ways, like posture, reducing falls, aches and pains, but also it helps you by being a bit better going to the toilet at night. So maybe if you really strengthen your pelvic floors, you won't have to go so frequently in the night. So let's try that. And all you do again, sit in, up straight this time. What I want you to do I want you to imagine the muscles you use when you go for a wee and I want you to squeeze them and relax them. Squeeze them and relax them. And what I mean by squeeze them is tighten those muscles. And these are internal muscles. So if you're doing it correctly, you won't be using your thighs or your stomach. It's all in here. So let's do 10 of those. On and off, on and off. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So they're the pelvic floors. And the last one I want to do with you today is a TVA. And this muscle starts from here and it goes all the way around into your back and it can act as a corset around the waist. So it really supports you and helps you keep you upright, which will reduce back pain, it gives you a neutral spine, it can make walking easier, loads of benefits for this. So let's try and find that one. And all we do here is we sit up straight and you imagine just here, so if you find your belly button, walk about a centimetre down and a couple of centimetres across and you imagine you've got a zip from your groin going up to your belly button, draw it in and feel some internal muscles tightening here. Now these muscles are different from your abs. Your abs are the superficial big muscles in the stomach. These muscles are tucked underneath those. So it might help to put a finger into your tummy and what you do, you draw in a breath, feel something's activated and hold it there. Now what you'll probably find you're doing is not breathing. So one of the muscles, the core muscles is a diaphragm and when we pull in, suck in and hold, we tend to tighten everything and that stops us breathing because we're not using the diaphragm. So make sure when you do this, you remember to breathe. So let's draw up from the groin to the belly button, pull those internal muscles in, use your fingers just to feel if you can feel something tightening, if you can feel that muscle activating. And let's hold that for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So it might take you a few attempts to get that one, but keep persevering and you'll find it. And when you can, hold it for 10. And when 10 feels okay, hold it for 20. And the aim is that you can hold it for a minute. You don't want to go straight into a minute. 
because what can happen is because you're working muscles that haven't worked for a while you can give yourself a strain so we just build up gently and the advantage where you'll see for yourself when you can put that TVA on and hold it for a minute you'll really reap the rewards so they're the three little core exercises I'm going to give you good luck with those <laughs>